Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a beautiful centerpiece celebrating the abundance of summertime. To gather my materials, I went to the FloorAbundance.com website and I searched by color, gathering blues and purples because I wanted to go with that summertime blue sky look. And I found so many fabulous things, delphinium, hydrangeas, bachelor buttons, clematis. Are those not the most fabulous? And they're so long lasting. Then I added in some Dusty Miller just to give it a soft grade color rather than using green foliage. Then blueberry roses, estrancha, chocolate lace. It's like Queen Anne's lace, but it's a little bronzier and very sturdy, long lasting. Purple artichokes, oh my goodness, eryngium, and the most fabulous purple carnations. As you can see, I truly have summer abundance. My tray, galvanized metal, and it's got a liner in with foam, pre-soaked with flower food. And then I begin by breaking the line of my container, filling in materials that will drape over the edge, making sure that it gets deeply down into the water so that it will drink well. Dusty Miller is so thirsty, it's long lasting as long as you don't let it dehydrate. So getting it down in low, and the heavier materials, like the artichokes. Their stems are very thick, so carving it down, making it a little smaller, setting it in, and also the hydrangea, setting that in place. It, too, is a very heavy water drinker, so it's hydrated with quick dip. And then I dip the stems into alum. Alum is a pickling spice, a white powder. Just give it a dip right after you cut, and then set it deeply into the foam. Continuing on, doesn't matter what order, but I tend to use things that are sturdier first. So maybe adding in the roses and grouping them so that they have greater value, rather than doing them salt and peppered throughout, tucking it in. Maybe even another, all in that same vicinity. Then coming back over to the opposite side. Doing a group there. And some of the delphinium. So pretty. Adding a line flower to a round arrangement adds dramatic, dynamic line. Gives a little different movement. Again, grouping them. And the carnations. Such a gorgeous purple color. Pulling your eye in. And letting it come out as well and then radiating around so that you turn the arrangement and it looks beautiful on all sides. Continuing with that grouping technique, taking a cluster of the bachelor buttons and rather than inserting them individually, gathering them in my fingers, staggering them slightly, and then giving them a cut and inserting them all at once finding a perfect little hole for them, and then nestling them down in deeply so that they're in the water. Maybe do another cluster. Then going back with the chocolate lace. So beautiful. Even the individual little buds can be used. Tuck those in. It's a little more carefree look. Coming out to help break the line of the container. Finding the perfect hole. There we go. The estrancha 
adding texture throughout the bouquet creates so much interest. Little delicacy, the eryngium. Again, casual texture tucked into the design. Last, to enhance the rhythm, that's where I'm going to use the clematis. They're so long and viney. They have great movement all on their own. Giving it a cut and determining where it can tuck in and trail outward. Again, making sure it gets down into the water, deeply into the foam, coming across to the opposite side, and then winding it through from one side to the other, extending the design in an asymmetrical format. Being a florist in the summertime is such a joy. There's an abundance of fabulous materials. And thank goodness for florabundance.com, summertime is available almost year round. Take a look at their site. Then if you have questions, if you want more information, if you need more inspiration, reach out to us through our website, flowerschool.com. If it's easier, pick up the telephone and give me a call, 503-223-8089. And then, as you're creating this summer, take a photograph and share it with us all. Post it on social media, hashtag Floral Design Institute, and let us all see. If it's easier, you can send it to me via email. I'll take a look that way. It's leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com. But now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.